Hi everyone, welcome back to MCM Outdoors. In this short review video, I'm going to be talking about this product which I was sent to test out by Trekology, and it is of course a Yeezy Go compact chair for camping and various other outdoor activities. I've had a chair in the past which was a non-branded one from Tesco and um, it gradually fell apart and I lost the feet as it sunk into the ground. That's something I'm going to touch a little bit upon as we get into this one. But um, the very it's a luxury item, isn't it? It's an absolute luxury item. Uh, the weight of this is 960 grams, so if you look at it in that respect, uh, many of these lightweight campers will just completely write this off. Um, there's other brands available, Helinox for example makes some very expensive ultralight chairs um, that's beyond the price range for many and certainly me included so it's very lucky to be sent this so it's an honest review and it's basically just my experience of using the chair a couple of facts and figures um, in terms of weight it will hold hold up to 135 kilograms price I think it's selling at the moment for £44 on Amazon um, that's obviously available via other retailers as well and um, yeah it's it's a good bit of kit so what I'm going to do is customary MCM Outdoors review I'm going to set it up talk a little bit more about it and then sort of look in, in depth at the features and then we'll wrap it up but it comes with this carrying case which has got a loop on one end and it's got some webbing um, sewn into the top now I'll overlay some footage of me using the bag on various wild camps over the last month or so but that comes in very handy just to attach it to your rucksack on the outside if you can and you don't want to take up any room in your pack you just strap it to your rucksack using the bottom straps on your pack pass them through the webbing and it's just an insurance policy to make sure it doesn't fall off your pack but it comes in very handy in that regard so it's got a zip on the front just unzip it and there's a couple of different components in here is the fabric of the chair itself, what you sit in. This is an extra, uh, it's called a sand cover. I'll talk about that in a moment. And you get the components of the chair leg assembly, which are made of aircraft grade aluminium, it's very strong. And there's just various different poles with elastic running through them, and they all snap together, just like the poles in your tent. They're held together with a little strip and loop of Velcro. I'll just show you how easy it is to set it up. Just take the Velcro off and they start snapping into place. You can't get it wrong, there's nothing to go wrong. There's only one place for them to go and that's it. And then you have the chair base set up. That is all you do. Now, uh, top tip which I found useful I attach the bag at this point to the front legs of the pole sections. I just put it through there and it keeps that off the ground. So you can store items off the wet ground just in, in the bag here. So that's just a tip. I'm not sure if you're meant to do that. I know you can on other chairs, but yeah, you can use that to store various bits and bobs and keep them off the wet ground. And then all you've got to do is attach the chair the fabric of the chair onto the frame so i always start with the bottom we'll look at this in a bit more detail don't worry you know you're quite a distance away there we've got really generous reinforced fabric loops and um, really well reinforced very solid it's not going to break and it's held my weight for a good month or so and it's absolutely fine i weigh just for the benefit of anyone who's watching about 14 and a half or just north of that figure at the moment so um, yeah, you save up to 135 kilos, so hopefully the majority of us are okay. But start from the base, you just put the loops with the pockets onto the poles, then on the top. When you first get it, it can be a little bit stiff, but once you've used it for a bit, it's absolutely fine. And that is it, that's the chair set up. Now it takes literally seconds in practice, I've been waffling away there. But it's got this really nice, robust fabric. It's got two mesh panels either side, just for some breathability there. And I think it's an absolutely cracking bit of kit. It's a luxury item, isn't it? You know, to take on a wild camp. I think the weight is 960 grams, so just shy of a kilogram. But 
Um, it doesn't half make a difference. You know, the, the other alternative is sitting on your, your sit mat or inside your tent. You now, if the ground's wet, you're nice and raised above the ground there, and it's it's very comfortable. I found it very, very comfortable, and you know, I've certainly appreciated it on my last lot of wild camps. I don't think the weight is an issue, like I say, and I've said on many videos. If you watch my videos, you'll know I'm not, and I never will, will be an ultralight wild camper. You know, you don't notice it. I don't notice it and a little bit of extra heavier weight in your pack is going to get you fitter at the end of the day so it's good for you as well. I'll just quickly touch upon this, it's called a sand cover, I'm not really sure why they've called it that but anyone who's used chairs like this in the past, if you've paid attention during your physics lessons you will know that pressure equals force over area. Now if you weigh for example 14 and a half stone, that 14 and a half stone weight is distributed amongst the surface area of these feet and it's only a very small surface there's obviously four of them that are pressing onto the ground as a result of that it will sink into soft ground for example sand soft more than soft grass and that's what I was talking about with the cheaper Tesco one and um, I lost um, the rubber feet the legs sunk down into the ground when I extracted it they'd gone that far I couldn't find the, the rubber feet so something to overcome that is this like I say, they called it a sand cover. In short, it's it's almost a square of fabric which sits over each foot, and all that does is spread out the weight or spread out the pressure of your weight as opposed to being on four tiny points of the legs, it spreads it out over this area. And um, there's nice reinforced flexible plastic sections which go over each of the feet. If you turn the chair over, I'll just show you how easy it is to attach it. That might just be out of shot, but don't worry, we're going to have a look at it in a bit more detail. Very quick, there's loops on each end. One, two, three, four. Again, no faffing rounds. That's on. And now, if you sit on soft ground, the legs of the chair aren't going to squash down into the ground. So that's a cracking, cracking little feature. And I would argue that if you're going to get the chair, get that as well because it makes it that much more versatile in terms of the terrain that you're going to be using it on. Each side of the chair has one of these fabric pockets. I can tell you from experience that it comfortably holds a 500 milliliter beer bottle. It will hold whatever you want really, it's quite generous. And the other side, you've got another one. So again, all the stitching is good. Like I say, I'm a stickler for detail. The stitching is good quality, there's no missed stitching and on the points where it's going to be subject to extra pressure it's reinforced well. So in terms of how far off the ground, oh, I don't know if my head's still in shot but I'm six foot tall and the legs are just the right height, you know your knees are pretty much at a right angle uh, to the floor so it's an absolutely brilliant height. You can reach items down to the ground easily. If you've got things in the carrying pouch underneath the chair you can reach and get them without having to get up. Uh, the pockets again it's set out really well so you've got easy access to whatever's in the side pockets. Um, someone's mentioned to me in one of the comments on an Instagram post about not having um, you know armrests in the chair. Now some of them you can get armrests. I don't think that's particularly necessary for a chair for wild camping but it might be something that you know yeah, it's really important to you. I don't find it's an issue to be honest because I'm normally just sat reclined sort of back in it and it just has a, a nice way of supporting you to be honest when you sit backwards. Um, it's nice and supportive in the back. It's very very comfortable indeed. There's no pinching of you and it just makes the world a difference when you've got your tent set up and you can just sit back, relax and take in the views of your camp with the luxury of a chair. So it's absolutely cracking. What we're going to do now is have a look at it in a little bit more closer detail and then we'll wrap this one up. So I'm just going to overlay some facts and figures, we'll put a bit of music over it and we'll wrap this one up. If you found it useful give it a quick thumbs up and if you're in the market for a camping chair check out this one by Trekology. It's the Yeezy Go compact chair and it's an absolutely great bit of kit which I would have no hesitation whatsoever in recommending. I'll catch you on the next video everyone. Mm -hmm.